my custom FPG. Uh, I have not done anything internally. I just did a lot of external stuff. So, um, right off the bat, you can tell I don't have a stock on here anymore. Um, so, I mean, I just popped out the two pins that had the stock. I mean, I still have it, but um, I just don't have it on the gun. And then I took my iron sights from my um, uh, Masada, or ACR, because I, I feel like I wasn't using them on there, because, you know, there's airsoft. Like, this is basically, like, you could use it as a submachine gun, because I have this big old 50 rounder on here. But you could even use this as a pistol, because, you know, you can still do this, or you can even do this if you want to do a submachine gun. Or you can use it like a machine pistol, you know. One of the full auto pistols, like, um, because, I mean, on the inside, it's a Glock 18, you know? So, technically, it's a machine pistol, like one of those full auto pistols, but you could use it as a machine gun, because, like, once it's in this platform, it's classified as a submachine gun. And I guess if you really wanted to, you could still kind of fold it, but, I mean... There's really no purpose. And what's kind of nice is you can like fold this down and that way you have like a nice flat. You know, but you can even still do it there. But it's just, you know, an option. Just push that little button and then you get like a flat uh, hand guard almost. And what I like about it is this, this comes out of the back. So it just, it just makes it, you know, I don't know, look more realistic, I guess. Um, so... And then I put these right where, like, my fingers are, so that I can just push down. Because I still have my finger on the trigger, but I can just um, put my thumb up there, and the same for my grip. Let's just push it up, so. Like, uh, basically, if you wanted a holster for this, I w if you were to use it, I would choose, like, one of those big, um, like, ammo box things. Like, here, I have a little pouch I'll show you. Something like this, like one of these, like, um, just multiple purpose pouch. Because these are nice because you can just have the Velcro, or if you really want to make sure it's secure, then you have the buttons on there, uh, or the, um, the tabs, or whatever, I forgot what they're called, on there too. So, and then you can attach it to your belt, because it's moly, or even on your chest. But I mean, you know, it's pretty big. But if you're wanting, you know, something, like if you're a major CQB person and you want something that um, is a really good backup, like if you don't carry a lot of main primary magazines, say you, say you carry like maybe two or something, and then that way you could get a couple extra magazines of these and keep them in here, and then that way your secondary is a full auto submachine gun, that's basically the Glock platform that we all know and love. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think you can get these for like what, 15, 20 bucks probably. I think you can get it on e-bike. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, the FPG is pretty expensive, and then yeah, if you want to put your ambus sights on here, maybe like you know, another hundred. So it's like a four hundred dollar pistol, but um, you know. And then I did uh, scratch off the um, orange on the side, so you have that giant um, orange tip. I do have, so it's still legal. So, I mean, you know, but from the side, it looks pretty cool, and then you just get the you know, little orange tip. But I, you could even take that off, because this, this comes off, and then you could file that away. Because that's how you got this off. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Just like a custom FPG or machine pistol, whatever. This custom gun. Yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.